Hello friends, in this video we'll be discussing one more example that is question number 4 on Lawrence and Taylor series. So friends, this is the given example in front of you. Now there is slight change in this problem. We have seen three problems till now and all the problems were of similar type. Here there is a minute change that we need to understand. First of all, an equation is given in the problem so that is not a big thing we can easily find it out root so that is not the twist here the twist is z is equal to 4 or about z minus 4 first of all z is equal to 4 you will take this 4 this side and you're going to write it down as z minus 4 so in the last three problems that we discussed all the problems were about origin or z is equal to zero so this is the first problem in which it is asked to expand about z is equal to four instead of z is equal to zero or in powers of z minus four so let us see how we can handle this situation so first step will remain same that is your partial fraction 2z minus 3 upon z square minus 4z plus 3. Now friends, for applying partial fraction, we know there should be factors in the denominator. Now, in this case, we have a quadratic equation, right? So we need to convert it into factors. So if you put in Kelsey or by simple method, you can get two roots and the roots are z minus 1 and z minus 3. So these are the two factors of equation z square minus 4z plus 3 right now let us separate by using partial fraction see both the factors are linear z minus 1 z minus 3 so you're going to write it down as a upon and b upon so a upon z minus 1 b upon z minus 3 so let us find it out a and b and the method is same so let's take lcm z minus 1 z minus 3 here the lcm is z minus 1 z minus 3 a z minus 3 plus b z minus 1 now for solving partial fraction we have seen two method till now one is your substitution and one is an expand and equate so in the first two problems we used substitution and in the third problem we used expand and equate method right here in this question we'll be using substitution see both the methods will always work the only thing is that we're going to choose the method which is better now for this case we'll be using substitution method so going to put put see the question one factor is z minus one so z minus one equal to zero another is z minus three equal to zero z is equal to 1 z equal to 3 obviously this will be cancelled from denominator so if you put z is equal to 1 so 1 minus 3 is minus 1 which is equal to if you put z is equal to 1 so 1 minus 1 will become 0 so the entire term of b will become 0 so you will be left with a term so that is a minus 2 so the value of a that we getting is half same way put z equal to 3 so this is 3 equal to this will be cancelled 3 minus 1 is 2 so basically 2b so b is 3 by 2 so we got the two values a and b a is equal to half and b is equal to 3 by 2 so let us put in the problem f of z is equal to half z minus 1 plus b is 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 z minus 3 or z is equal to 0 that we did in the first three problems your cases will be this is z equal to 1 z equal to 3 so z equal to means circle with radius 1 z equal to 3 means circle with radius 3 three regions point may layer may layer may layer case number one mod z less than one case number two it is between one and three and case number three is mod z greater than three so this would be the three cases if the problem 
is expand about origin or z is equal to 0. But friends, there is a twist in the problem. And it is asked to expand about z is equal to 4 or in powers of z minus 4. So, this will be discarded here for this particular problem. So, what, what we are going to do is, first of all, we need to convert this z into z minus 4 since it is asked. So, f of z minus 4 is equal to, so you need to convert the problem into z minus 4. So, 1 upon 2, if I will replace z with z minus 4, so obviously I need to add a plus 4. So, minus 4 plus 4 will be cancelled and this remaining 1, I am going to write it down here. Plus, the same adjustment in the second term. So, 3 by 2 and this z will be replaced by z minus 4. So, 3 by 2 z will be replaced by z minus 4. As soon as you write minus 4, you need to add plus 4 so that the effect will be nullified and the original question will remain as it is. So, this minus 3 after that. So, see this step very carefully. What I did, I converted the problem into f of z to f of z minus 4. Why I did it? Because the problem is not about expanding about origin or z is equal to 0. The problem is expanding about z is equal to 4 or in terms of z minus 4. So friends, this is 1 upon 2 z minus 4 plus 3 3 by 2 z minus 4 plus 1. So the original problem converted into f of z minus 4. Now there will be ROCs again and in the previous problem the role of z will be performed by z minus 4 in this particular problem. Means we are going to treat z minus 4 as z only. So let us draw ROCs. So the first is if I take it as a z so, just take it as a z. So, that is z plus 3 equal to 0, z equal to minus 3. That means mod z is equal to 3. But, here it is mod of z minus 4, right? Equal to 3. And, the second one is mod of z minus 4 is equal to 1. So, let me draw it. The first circle has radius 1. So, this is your mod of z minus 4 equal to 1 and the second circle has radius 3. I am purposely not showing origin because in the previous problem the origin was at z is equal to 0. Here the circle is shifted. So, I am purposely not showing this origin axis basically. So, again three possibilities a point may lie here, may lie here, may lie here. So, inside this circle means inside mod of z minus 4 less than 1 between this. So, between 1 and 3 and the last case will be greater than 3. So, let me list down the cases. Case number 1 mod z less than 1 but yes this is z minus 4 because we are going to treat z and z minus 4 the same way. So, this is my case number 1. My case number 2 will be 1 less than mod of z minus 4 less than 3 and my case number 3 will be mod of z minus 4 greater than 3. So, these are the cases based on this particular diagram. So, let us start solving for case number 1. So, case number 1 is mod of z minus 4 less than 1 f of z minus 4 is equal to 1 upon 2 z minus 4 minus 3 plus 3 by 2 z minus 4 minus 1. So, this is our given problem. Now, let us draw ROC for this particular case. 
so point is lying here that means it is inside mod of z minus 4 less than 1 and mod of z minus 4 less than 3 so less than 1 less than 3 that means the point is lying inside both the circles so we're going to take constant common from both the terms so in the first case the constant is minus 3 so you will be left with minus 3 z minus 4 upon 3 plus 1 i am taking constant common from the first case and the same way so here constant is minus 1 so that is minus z minus 4 plus 1 so taking common means dividing so what is the next step yes so we're going to write it down minus 1 upon 6 1 minus z minus 4 upon 3 plus minus format 1 plus 1 minus format minus 3 by 2 1 minus z minus 4 what is the next step yes take it up so f of z minus 4 is equal to minus 1 upon 6 1 minus z minus 4 upon 3 inverse minus 3 by 2 1 minus z minus 4 inverse what is the last step expand since both are minus everything will be plus so this will be 1 plus z minus 4 upon 3 plus z minus 4 upon 3 the whole square plus dot 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 minus 3 by 2 again both are minus so everything will be plus so 1 plus z minus 4 z minus 4 the whole square plus dot 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 so we're done with first case now friends see here our question was expand about z is equal to 4 or in powers of z minus 4 now focus here everything that we getting is in terms of z minus 4 see here everywhere you, you are getting z minus 4 nowhere you are getting z so this is the difference so let me solve for one more case now we are done with the first case i am solving for the third case second question i'll give you as a homework so let's move on and let us see the third case of the problem case number three now i am solving for case number three so this is your first circle one and this is your second circle three again purposely i am not showing the axis because it is shifted circle in the last case that is case number one we have seen axis here i am not showing it so it's not compulsory it's up to you so in this case this is my one basically that is mod of z minus four is equal to one mod of z minus 4 equal to 3 and i am taking the case in which the point is outside both that is mod of z minus 4 is greater than 3 so f of z minus 4 that we got is 1 upon 2 z minus 4 minus 3 plus 3 by 2 z minus 4 minus 1 now let us check where exactly the point is lying the point is lying outside both the circles see here right both the circle means we need to take yes we need to take z common but friends in this problem what is z z minus 4 so right so here we're going to take z minus 4 common so 2 z minus 4 is outside 1 minus 3 upon z minus 4 plus 3 by 2 if you take z minus 4 common 1 minus 1 upon z minus 4 what is the next step swap thank god it's already done so what is the next step take it up so if you take it up f of z minus 4 is equal to 3 by 2 z so if you take it up z minus 4 is equal to 1 upon 2 z minus 4 1 minus 
थ्री अपॉन जेड माइनस फोर इनवर्स प्लस थ्री बाय टू जेड माइनस फोर वन माइनस वन अपॉन जेड माइनस फोर इनवर्स राइट सो लेट अस परफॉर्म द लास्ट एंड कंक्लूडिंग स्टेप बोथ आर माइनस एवरीथिंग विल बी प्लस वन प्लस थ्री अपॉन जेड माइनस फोर प्लस थ्री अपॉन जेड माइनस फोर द होल स्क्वायर प्लस डॉट 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 प्लस थ्री अपॉन टू जेड माइनस फोर एवरीथिंग विल बी प्लस वन अपॉन जेड माइनस फोर द होल स्क्वायर प्लस डॉट 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 दैट्स इट थैंक यू